Welcome back. Earlier this year, Google released the stable version of Android 13. It brings several performance improvements, and new features, like native support for Bluetooth audio, app language support, and more. In this video, we're gonna look at 5 Android 13 tips and tricks, everyone should know. If this finds useful, stick till the end, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Let's begin. Soon after Android 13, device manufacturers like Samsung, OnePlus, and others, started updating their phones. If you have already received the Android 13 update, here are some tips and tricks you might have missed. Android 13 builds on the material you design and adds several new color options. While themed icons are still in beta, they work pretty well for numerous apps. To enable themed icons in Android 13, all you need to do is, long press the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, and turn on the toggle, labeled themed icons. Another useful feature introduced with Android 13, is the ability to set language preferences, for every app, which lets users switch a particular app, to their preferred language. Keep in mind that, the feature is developer dependent, so it might not work with all apps. If you want to set language preferences per app, head over to the settings page, Tap on System, navigate to the Language and Input submenu, and you will find an option to set Apple Languages. Here, you will find a list of apps, that support the functionality. Now, tap on the app you want to change the language, and set your preferred language, and you are good to go. The next time you launch, it will be available in your selected language. Even though one-handed mode, was already available in the previous version of Android, one had to dig through device settings to use it. But with Android 13, Google has added the ability to toggle one-handed mode, from Quick Tiles. To enable the feature on your Android 13 device, simply pull down the Quick Settings menu from the top of the screen. Once done, pull it once more, and you will see a pencil-like icon, that lets you edit Quick Settings. Scroll down, and you will eventually find a tile, named One-Handed Mode. Long press on it, and you will be able to place it in the Quick Settings tile. If you find yourself launching the camera app on your smartphone, for scanning QR codes, this feature will come in handy. Similar to the one-handed mode toggle, Android 13 introduced a quick settings tile, that lets you quickly scan QR codes, without having to launch any app. Adding the quick settings tile, is easy. Swipe down to the quick settings tile menu, from the top of the screen, swipe it down again, and you will see the pencil-like icon, that lets you edit the layout. Now, find the scan QR code tile, long press on it, and you will be able to move it around. Drag it to the quick settings tile list to scan, without launching any app. If you are experiencing battery drain on your device, or just want to see which apps are consuming power in the background, you no longer have to dig into battery settings, and manually check the list. Android 13, introduces a new functionality, that lets you easily check the apps, that are running in the background. To check this, Swipe down twice from the notification bar, and besides the settings app shortcut, you will find text, that says which apps are active. The active apps shortcut, shows you how much time, the apps have been running in the background, and even lets you stop them. That's the video guys, hope it is useful, and if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video, until then, goodbye.